Hi guys. Um, I haven't done much video on this week. I was going to do a video early on today and didn't get around to it. My head's not with it at the moment. Um, nothing wrong with me. It's just trying to get back into your routine after you've been on holiday because you've lost the buzz and now it's reality life when you come back home and it's like from one step to another big step which is I'm trying to get round it as the same but um I'm going to be talking about my wedding actually because me and Andrew's getting married next year but um, Andrew's going to Bishop sometime next week to try and get his birth certificate because he needs the birth certificate and divorce papers which in my opinion he should have had them in the first place but obviously they've lost, been lost so we've got to track them down and get them which I don't think they should cost all that much for a birth certificate and a divorce paper he needs proof of identification really um i need my birth certificate my marriage certificate certificate to dougie which i've got and also his death certificate which i've got but we have to go to darlington i know this is complicated guys but works out cheaper in the long run because if we got married in darlington it's going to cost about over 300 in the um register office and so we've decided to do it outside the darling to go to whitby especially for the golf weekend because i want to do it for the golf weekend where we got engaged and it seems right and it's special and it, in the, it's romantic come on guys you can't knock whitby you've got the abbey you've got the wishbones You've got the sea, got the sand, got everything you want up there. Do you know what I mean, guys? It's got harbour, everything. The castle, well, not the castle, the abbey, I mean. Um, and the little church on the top of the hill where me and Andy got engaged, obviously. But, like, sort of after that, um, I probably will do the reception do during the week because um, I want to spend like sort of the day there and we'll probably have a drink or something in the pub and just celebrate our wedding day really really that's probably what I'll do and then have a big reception do when I come back home and probably the hen party will be at home probably do that um trying to think January February March March April might do it in March because do the hen party month beforehand then it's not like I won't be getting tired a week week beforehand if you know what I mean so I've got all that out organised I just will basically for a hen party knees up with friends um, go to karaoke and have a good laugh that's basically what i want and andrew will be probably doing the same with his stag night because i was thinking about having the reception here but then i thought if i have the reception here i can't keep an eye on everyone unless i just have a small reception with small with friends who couldn't make it to the wedding and just have it a little do here so it's got going to be organised, but tomorrow I'm going to be looking around um, charity shops and I'm going to charge this up. Liam, I'm going to charge the camera up and then I'll do a vlog in the morning in the cafe for you because I know he's noticed he liked that. So, yes, and another thing, guys, I want to say a great big thank you for everyone who has supported me. Um, listen to my videos basically when I've been really really down and depressed and I shouldn't be and now I've come back from holiday from that breakaway I feel a lot more better in myself um, 
that's getting a little bit worse again because my eczema's gone over the scar and it's made me itch. But I won't be doing any more of that. I will not be doing any more of that. I have promised Marcus, I promised myself, promised Andy, so I won't be doing any more of that. But tomorrow I'm going to go look around some charity shops. I'll probably take you with me. I don't care if anybody looks at me when I'm flogging. Fuck them. It's my town. I do what I want, basically. <laughs> and um, I'm going to look, start looking for a bridesmaid. Not bridesmaid. Bride's outfit. Because I want something purpley, but something black as well. So it looks a bit gothic. So it's going to look cool. Black or purple or reddish. Um, but this time of year you can probably get something reddish or like a ballroom gown, ballroom gown, ballroom gown, or like something look weddingish, and you can probably get something like that, like these Christmas gowns, because they they're goth colours, so that's the best time of the year really to get dark colours is either Halloween or Christmas time. These are the best times to get the dark colours because, like, when after March, after February, March, you usually get the summer, spring colours in, then the summer colours, then back to the autumn colours. And the list goes on. Guys, you win me on this, aren't you guys? Good, good. Everyone's with me on this. But, yes, um, you will be coming along to my wedding. I'll get somebody filming it. And... It's nerve-wracking to get married for the third time because I still have that... Um, I still have that thing at the back of me saying, is it going to be all right? Is it going to work? Is I know it's going to work because I don't love Andrew too much. And all the guys can see that on Facebook. Even on YouTube, you can see that on Facebook. I share my life with him. Do you know what I mean? But the back of me saying it with my marriage is because of what's happened with me with John and Dougie. That is the frightening part, guys. That is the frightening part. And I know nothing can happen with him, but I know it's my third time lucky. Third time chance. Third time for a new life. And I'm going to make this work. I mean, I'm not getting... Young anymore. I'm 46 next year and I need to settle down. And because my life's been up, one minute it's been up, next minute it's been down. And sometimes I don't know where I'm coming and going, but I get there in the end. I do get there in the end. And I know I have my family, my friends, and my online friends Facebook, YouTube. I have everyone supporting me. I know that. And I should be very grateful. And yet, sometimes I shout at you a lot when I'm angry and everything else. And I'm sorry for doing that. But I have really have had thoughts and changed myself over the last few days. Because I don't want to be that person anymore. I just want to be the happy me as everyone loves me to be. And, and I know you love me to be that type of person and as everyone keeps saying I'm the legend <laughs> which I am I suppose I have been around a few times in my life oh god haven't I just been around in a few times in my life well we will go into that subject the kids might be watching um right but I am going to I won't upload this today, but I'll upload it tomorrow um, in the morning because it's quicker in the morning than this time of night. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, plus, I'm getting a little bit tired. Um, I'm going to make some hot chocolate in a bit, try and help me to relax a bit more. I actually do feel quite calm and relaxed. I have been since I've come back from holiday. And it just seems a bit strange for me. Oh, mind you, yes, update, guys. I have got bruises. Look at that. 
That's from my stick from the golf weekend. And I've got one on my leg there. That's from the golf weekend when I kept... Because it was that packed and I kept tripping over my bloody stick when I, I was walking. And then I thought, yes, I'm going to get bruises, but that one's quite... This one's quite sore on my leg here. And I need to get some witch hazel. I'm going to have to get some witch hazel. So, hey up, the alarms are going off. Fireworks night. And the dogs are barking. Great. I might not sleep tonight. I don't know yet. Right, I'll speak to you guys later. Be cool. Be happy. Before I go, I'm going to do a shout out to Vanessa next door. Because... She's doing her exam on Friday, so good luck, Pep. And another shout-out. Happy birthday to your mum. I love you loads. Be cool. Be happy. Stay tuned. Els Bells Rock Chick Dudes. One, two, one. You know what it is? I'm out of here. Bye, guys. Mwah.